<laughs> What's up, man? It's Phil X. Yeah. Um, this is a special treat. Whoa, I just touched this. This is my, my this is my Iron Man chest plate. The light. This is my source of all the source of all my power. Yeah, so um this is a Paoletti, man. Uh a lot of you are going, what the hell? What's a Paoletti? Well, I'm gonna tell you what a Paoletti is. I met Fabrizio Paoletti in Italy when I was on the road with a tiny, tiny, tiny band called Bon Jovi. And uh, they brought me a telly to use, and it was, it was kind of like very similar to this, which is really cool. Um, what's really awesome about this guitar is that this, this body is chestnut, but from a 150-year-old wine barrel. 150 year old today. So hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a moment. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear wine barrel guitar body, happy birthday to you. All right. So uh, yeah, did you like that? <laughs> that wasn't even my idea. It came from above. So, um, uh, okay, Fabrizio, awesome guy. Tommy, Tommaso, also in Italy. They work together. Tommaso is an amazing, <laughs> amazing guy uh, that uh, I met at a, at a bunch of shows. And, you know, he's a great dude. They're both great dudes, except Tommaso speaks English and Fabrizio doesn't. So I don't know how cool he is, but he makes really cool guitars. It's awesome. Um, uh, I think Fabrizio makes his own pickups. Uh, hey, let's, let's just look at this, because what the heck? Um, the, the, the neck, okay, so we got the chestnut 150 year old body. The neck is mahogany with an ebony fretboard. The pickups are handmade by Paoletti. Yes, it's a T60 neck pickup and a T60 bridge. They sound great. The bridge is Wilkinson. The machining, the tuning machines are Goto. Pickguard is brass. It's a cool brass. Um, actually, what's really cool about the, the guitar that they let me use was they, he engraved my, my son's name, Xavier, into a pickguard and then sent it to, Kum, to Kumi. To Kumi installed it for one of the, the later shows. And I was like completely blown away. That was a really sweet uh, sentiment of, uh, you know, a, a term of endearment, if you would likely understand what I'm talking about, which I don't. Uh, control knobs, volume master. Uh, the, the string nut is deer bone. I can't do this guitar, man. They made the bone out of, they made the nut out of Bambi, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, this sounds like Cheech and Chong skit. So it's an oil finish with a thin layer of nitro. So, and uh, Fabrizio's style is putting these, these, uh, these studs, just hammering them in. And that's, you know, it's kind of the look that he has. And the knobs are actually the, the bottoms of, uh, of uh, gunshot, sh uh, shotgun shells, right? Yes, no? I think they're it looks like it. large ammunition shells. Large ammunition shells. Not quite missiles, but large. Um, you're gonna hear it in a second. I just wanna know, you point, point something out here on the back. Like, that's, that's what you get when you get a word that's 150 years old. That's got that character, man. That could hold your cigarette. That could, uh, you could like, well, let's not go there. But um, this here, look at that. That's, that's killer. That was like part of the barrel. So, and you're gonna go, what? That sounds amazing. And I also wanna show you something else. I'm, I'm in the, the barbecue grill 76 JMP. So single coil, right? I wanna show you something. I pick really hard. So you get the. You get the single coily kind of sound, but if I picked a little lighter, it would actually warm it up a little bit, like. Hear the difference? You should hear the difference. Again, I've said this before, if you don't hear the difference, you should play drums. Um, so check it out, let's do like. Uh... Later. The 
Tucker. Awesome rock tone with a single coil. It's awesome. It's cool. And then you get your. Uh... You know what that sounds like to me? It sounds like Rick Derringer, Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo. Sounds like that tone, single coil. I think you use the Strat, but this is a, uh, obviously a Tele style guitar called Nancy. All Paoletti Tellys are called Nancy's. They're all Nancy's. All right, I don't know why. I'll have to give him a call and a translator. All right. So if we got Rick Derringer, the solo to uh, Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo, we got to go. How could I stop me when the bus is gone? Was a wall spraying that at the old town hall? Was a fool walking through cause they were better down? Don't you know they're never gonna lose your fucking sound? Rock and roll, cookie crew! Lord have my own bad mind for the blues! I'm going out fast, you should meet me there. <laughs> All right, you know what happened there? Nope. Um, okay, so uh, now, on this particular model, and they don't all come with the humbucker, the one that I use on tour, uh, actually, I should have brought it. Because that neck pickup that Fabrizio made for the telly that I used on the tour was the best sounding telly neck pickup I've ever heard in my life. And it was the smaller size, but it didn't have the steel cap on it. It had, uh, it was like, like this, but smaller. So the same size, but it had pole pieces. And, and even Takumi, the tech, he agreed that it was the best neck, neck, neck sounding the best sounding neck pickup we'd heard in a really long time. Um, also, I wanted to mention that Fred Americana is the only U.S. handler of cocaina. <laughs> Just kidding. I swear to God. Just kidding. Everybody take that back. It's a joke. It's going to get deleted. It's yeah, deleted. it's getting deleted. So Fred Americana is handling Paoletti guitars. So they, uh, they got five in, and they're all the same price. Go check them out. And uh, we're going to do another one on the show. So in the meantime, let's hear what this neck pickup sounds like. Because it's like a humbucker! Now, and it's not a testament to the guitar, it's a testament to my madness. <laughs> so that's just this. This, 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 this humbucker neck pickup into the Marshall. Sounds killer, right? If I put a little sauce on, not sauce, overdrive. Sexy, right? Okay, so I got, I'm working on it too. It goes like. Wait. Okay, now. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in E. Or 
or G? So everybody vote. Should it be dark and mad like E, or should it be like kind of freaky and poppy like G? So we want your votes. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Wait. I had an idea. Okay. So for clean, which isn't really clean, like explained to you earlier, we're in the the Fender Vibro King. Mm -hmm. Super clean, but you play lighter and it, it's clean. Okay, in the middle, we got this. Oh, yeah. That was my little funky bit. And people are gonna be like, as always, what song was that? It's like, it's no song. It just came up from the top of my head. <laughs> Sounds cool. It's just a funky guitar, man. Like, uh. That reminds me of a song that I once played, but I'm gonna go back to the Marshall and I'm gonna tune
go into classes I'll find some cheese and cheap sunglasses I need to learn this, man. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's it. Paoletti. Distributed solely by Fred and Americana in the US. Check these out, man. They're awesome guitars. Fabrizio, love you. Tommaso, love you too. I love Tommaso more because he speaks English. All right. Have a kick ass day. No pick toss. Ah!